Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm excited because I'm doing a collab with Angel over at My Real Life Budget. Today we're going to be talking about financial habits. I'm going to primarily be talking about 2022 that save us a lot of money. And I think many of these things that I discuss, if people applied them to their life, it could really save you a lot of money. I'm going to start with number one. The first one is even though prices around us have increased, I've refused to allow my bills to go higher. If they are going higher, then I'm figuring out a way in another area to lower them. I'm not doing auto ships. So I'm basically not allowing my expenses to increase. That's number one. Number two, I've told you guys this before. I definitely automate my savings. My product demonstrations that I do Thursday through Sunday, that goes into a special account and that goes into a savings. And I'm going to tell you that savings has helped our family out a lot from purchasing foundation work, air conditioner, went towards our vehicle, and it is such a blessing to have it. So I don't even think about that savings. I have savings go into that account. And so that one source of income goes to savings. And it's a real blessing. Number three, I check all my accounts daily from credit cards to bank accounts. I check on all of them daily to make sure that I am current on everything. So I'm on top of that every single day. Number four, I primarily use cash. I do use a cash envelope system. Occasionally I do use a credit card, but I don't accrue any interest and I don't carry any balances. So that's really important, but I primarily do use the cash envelope system. Okay. Number five, this is really key. There are times I go over budget. And there's times I overspend mostly on groceries. But when I see myself do that, I pull the reins in before it really gets out of control. I say to myself, okay, enough's enough. You had your fun. You're back on your budget. Okay. Number six, this is key. I make sure my father taught me this to take care of savings and my four walls, that means all your basics, expenses, food, everything, all of that gets taken care of first before I spend any other money. In other words, to be totally frank with you, I do go without a lot of things that maybe I would love to spend money on. The reason why is I want to remain consumer and mortgage debt free. And I also like to have money in savings for when big ticket item expenses and emergencies come up. So my four walls are taken care of first. Number seven, I keep up with any type of repair. I don't let a repair get out of hand where it becomes more expensive. Number eight, this is also key. I'm always looking for more ways to make money and to save money. And I have more than one stream of income. Currently, I have three main ones, but I have other little things that I do on the side too. Number nine, we remain debt-free. The only way I'm able to remain debt-free though is because of automating my savings. If I didn't do the product demos, it may be a little struggle to remain debt-free because our income would be a lot lower. So that's the big thing that helps me remain debt-free is automating that savings. We usually save around a third of our income each month. Okay, number 10, I'm a homebody. That right there doesn't need explanation. When you don't leave the house a lot, as long as you don't buy stuff online, that saves you a lot of money. Number 11, I pay bills ahead and I'm always paying things ahead. I also sometimes pay things for the whole year. So that really can save. That way you don't have all these little bills coming out each month. It really makes a big difference. And this is my little trick for number 12. I have to be totally frank with you guys. I would love to buy everything I see. I love to shop. I love to buy things. I love retail therapy. But I know in the long run, that's not going to help me. So many times I play the this or that game. Well, I can either go out to eat or I could go to a movie. I can either buy an outfit or I can order something off Amazon. I do that all the time. I even do that in the grocery store. I can either have this or I can have that. I can't have both. That this or that game helps you where you don't feel deprived and you can have some fun, but it also helps you save money. These are just 12 quick ways that I save. I know I can make constant improvements on my budget. I'm sure though, 
after you watch this video, if you go watch Angel at My Real Life Budget, I bet we can hear even more fabulous tips from her. I'll leave you with that. I'm going to link her channel below. Let me know some of your best great money-saving habits and money-saving tips in the comments below. You guys know I love to hear your comments. That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And like I always say, I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.